Right now at 5.30, the jury is about to get the case of a South Florida rapper accused of gunning down his two friends after he didn't testify in his own defense. Attorneys for YMW Melly say the victims were his friends. But prosecutors say he did it and then try to cover it up. Local tennis Ian Margul is live with what happened in court today. Ian. The defense only called one witness before resting their case. Now both sides have rested and this trial is coming to a close. The defense has rested their case today. There's no additional evidence or witnesses. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Testimony is officially complete in rapper YNW Melly's double murder trial. Melly is accused of killing two of his friends, Chris Thomas Jr. and Anthony Williams, after they spent the evening at a Fort Lauderdale recording studio in 2018. Prosecutors say Melly shot and killed the victims in a car after leaving the studio and then staged a drive-by shooting to cover it up. But on Tuesday, the defense called Adrian Davis to the stand, another friend of Melly's who was at the studio that night and left in a different car to head back home. Did there come a time that you were woken up before you got to the house? Yes. What happened? Um, we pulled over and that's when Melly got in the car with us. That's why the defense says it couldn't have been Melly who killed Thomas and Williams. They maintain he wasn't even in that car anymore. And in fact, they say Melly was actually asleep at home when it happened, and he, Davis, and others all woke up to the news. Are you 100% sure that this young man learned of the shooting of, these, of his friends at the exact same time you learned of it? Yes. And that was at the house? Yes. Are you 100% sure? So those closings begin on Thursday, and then this case will be given to the jury. This jury is going to be sequestered, and that means they will come here to the courthouse. They will begin their deliberations. At the end of the day, though, they will not go home. They will go to a hotel, come back here to the courthouse to continue deliberations. That cycle will continue until they come to a final decision. And if Melly is eventually convicted, he could face anywhere from life in prison to the death penalty in this case. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. Ian, thank you.